Greetings, everyone. Hope you're all getting comfortable being aware of your reality shifts. We have to do another update for the Ed McMahon Publishers Clearinghouse situation. I have some interesting information today to share with you. I've already done three videos. I'll link them up below. There's lots of reality residue in all three videos. That's why I've, this is actually the third update now. The last update, I did a Golden Girls episode where one of the ladies answers the phone and said, I won. Publishers Clearinghouse, Ed McMahon's coming over, something like that. I mean, I mean, really? Uh, so that was good. So that's in the, this video here, the second update I did. But anyway, moving along, I found this here. Publishers Clearinghouse check made out to David Letterman as a joke of him winning a million dollars. So Johnny Carson shows up and presents Letterman with a Publishers Clearinghouse check, and this is what he has to say. I happen to be in town over uh, doing some stuff for the NBC affiliate. That's right. And, you know, Ed McMahon, our good friend, could not be here. Yeah. But it seems, David, that you are the $1 million winner. Oh, my God! <laughs> I've won a million bucks! <laughs> What are the odds yeah. that I would win the sweepstakes? The, the odds are astronomical. Yeah. Okay. Well, geez, the screw GE then, huh? Isn't that nice? <laughs> Ed, Ed would have been here, but he's in Hawaii with some uh, member of the female species. Uh -huh. <laughs> Publisher's Clearinghouse. Isn't that nice? Ed would have been here. I mean, Johnny and Ed worked together for 30 years. This was in 1991, this episode here. They worked together from 1962 to 1992 on the Tonight Show. I mean, I imagine they were good friends. You would think Johnny Carson would know what company that Ed was affiliated with. <laughs> it's not Publishers Clearinghouse, right? It's not, never was in this reality. So this is bizarre, had to share this. Something else I wanted to share. Well, we'll get to that in a second. This here is Todd Sloan, Senior Vice President of Publishers Clearinghouse. And I have every reason to believe that this is him. I went to his channel. He's got some Publishers Clearinghouse uh, videos. Could be, you know, someone posing as him. This could possibly not be him, but it appears to be him from what he wrote. It appears to be the Senior Vice President of Publishers Clearinghouse who started the Prize Patrol, commenting on my first video that has almost 50,000 views. So I just wanted to read a little bit and I want to show you something else that doesn't line up with what Todd is saying here. This is the bizarre situation we have with Ed McMahon and Publishers Clearinghouse. So, love this topic. I'm Todd Sloan, Senior Vice President of Publishers Clearinghouse and have worked here since 1985. In fact, I started the prize patrol. So here's the deal. Ed McMahon never had anything to do with Publishers Clearinghouse in this reality. He worked for a smaller competitor named American Family Publishers. Publishers Clearinghouse started advertising on TV in 1977. So he goes on to tell about Publishers Clearinghouse and their commercials and how he started the prize patrol. And then he goes on to say, as you can see from the American Family Publishers Ed McMahon ads, they were straight to the camera. Pitches from Ed. And in later years, Ed and Dick Clark. Sometimes they would trot out winners to stand next to them, but they didn't hold big checks. And they weren't surprised with the news, like the PCH, Prize Patrol commercials. They just filmed these spots months after they won. Ed and Dick didn't leave the studio and go out to surprise winners. The Prize Patrol winning moments commercials became such a part of Americana that in later years Ed McMahon himself, who must have been tired of people asking him when he was going to knock on their door, eventually just played along with the idea that he would surprise winners. That's kind of hard to believe. I guess I can kind of believe it. I'm sure Ed got thousands of people saying that to him but 
Anyway, the only time he ever surprised a winner was the last year of American Family Publishers' existence, around 2000. Now, this is where I want to switch over because the senior vice president of Publishers Clearinghouse is saying Ed only went out and surprised winners, and I don't know if he was holding a big check or not, around 2000 in this one year. But we have to go here and we have to listen to this rap that Ed made just before he passed away. We got to listen to this. You... Shout out to my people. This is Ed McMahon rolling slow through the suburbs in an unmarked van. I ran the strip in the 80s, brought big fat checks to the ladies. When I showed up at their door, they would start screaming like crazy. Raked it in hand over fist. Was big he brought big fat checks to the ladies in the 80s well that's not what mr sloan is saying on the vip list i was a verbal gunslinger and my shots never missed but now the bills have come due and my credit scores whack so i'm hitting up the winners to get my checks back Hi, Ed McMahon. Ed McMahon. Remember, I gave you that big check. I, I'd like to have that check back. <laughs> if you, I, I'm having some stuff with help a lot. Just a little bit. For those of you who don't know, he went broke and was having his home foreclosed on. And I think I heard something about Donald Trump was going to help him at some point or something. I don't know. He lost all his money. I mean... He did Star Search. He did uh, AFP, which many remember being Publishers Clearinghouse. He was on The Tonight Show for 30 years. Did some movies. So really tragic story for uh, Mr. McMahon. But what is this? I mean, really? We got to hear this earlier part here again real quick. 80. Brought in. I ran the strip in the 80s. Brought big fat checks to the ladies. When Ran the strip in the 80s, brought big fat checks to the ladies. Now, rhyming that together, I imagine he's talking about in the 80s. He brought the big fat checks. Well, not according to the senior vice president of Publishers Clearinghouse. They didn't do that at AFP. So nothing, none of this lines up. None of the information I've been getting. None of the reality residue. Check out the other videos. This is just a bizarre situation. No matter what anybody says. This is a bizarre situation with Ed McMahon and Family Publish and Publishers Clearinghouse. That's it, everyone. I will talk to everyone soon. Go create the reality that you want.